hi guys so in this video we're gonna learn how can we handle multiple context now go to your context file.js as i have created one new create context by using create context user context uh, the name is zondo as a default value for now now in here as you can see that in our learn context.js we have provided one provider in here so I'm just going to provide a new provider after that, that is user context dot provider. Now what happens that the consumer component, whenever they consume uh, the data from the parent, it will look, it will look for the nearest provider that has the same name and it will get the data from there. So it will get data from this user context or provider not the default one now just going to wrap it up with this slash user context dot provider now as you can see in here we have this context provider both times but these two are different right so to distinguish between both you can do one more thing that theme context has that is this display name so you can just change the name of it just by using this theme as you can see that the name has been changed and the same thing you can do for this user context dot display name of course and the changing the name is user as you can see the name has been changed now go to your button to dodges so as i have said that you cannot use this uh, multiple handle multiple context uh, for the class component so you have to use for this in the functional component of course now i have copied it and you're gonna see the tds part first of all <laughs> so first tds part and then the easiest part so in here we have to provide two or one more consumer that is user context so the the uh, the writing way of this is very like it's very bad so let's bear with it now what going to go next is this that after this we are going to provide again this user context dot consumer okay so again you have to provide this uh, not here of course this is wrong as i have said this is tedious so this can be wrong by me also so after this user context dot consumer it, this is a JS syntax of course now after this you have to provide this curly braces inside it you have to provide this user again you have to return some JS syntax now you can provide in here this span user slash span and just closing it by this now again there is wrong this is wrong so what's the wrong is that you cannot do it like this you have to provide or you have to give all the JSX index at one position and I also haven't closed it of course so as I can see if you just give it like this there is an error also so you have to provide it in one place so by doing this you will see that yeah this is how we can do this so as you can see this is a tedious part so now we are going to move on to the easiest part how can we do this so i'm just going to copying it the same thing but right now we are going to use hooks actually the name of the hook is use context and what it does by using use context you can just simply get the data actually and simply getting the data means i'm just going to comment out of course this code also now what you can do you need user right so just use react 
dot use context and give the name of the context that you want to use that is user context and i'm going to destructure in here the properties that i need like toggle theme from where from react dot use context and the name of the context is theme context and again as i have said we don't need this part we just need the JSX index. We don't need these parts. Just removing these parts also. And now just closing this tag. Uh, as you can see, we got the theme, we got the toggle theme. As you can see, this is working. And just giving the name in here, span user slash span yeah that's it that's what we need as you can see it's working good now in here you have understood the context and its apis so be careful whenever you want to use it and yeah so let's see in the next video what we have that's all thanks